What's happening, you beautiful folks? I always like to start these videos out with a grand gratitude for all of you that have taken your precious time in this life and your resources and energy that I know you got families and life just seems to happen all around you, but you've taken time to watch these short videos I put up and I get in a groove and I really appreciate all you new people coming in and leaving comments and finding value in what I do. It just warms my heart and makes me do this work even deeper. And today I'm showing you a big old painting I did uh, for, for a real good uh, friend and a patron of my arts in Carolina and uh, she watches all these videos so what's happening Riri and uh, I had so much fun doing this painting and uh, I put up a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial if you're into painting under water you know from your imagination on skillshare.com slash I paint creatures so go out and check that out if you're on Skillshare or sign up for Skillshare and I go through the whole process of painting this and uh, I have so many little bits and paintings of this because I had so much fun you know um, painting recordings and so I'll probably be showing you just a little bit more of the detail but this is where I'm putting in all the creatures from my imagination and having a lot of fun I did that real hybrid like kind of jellyfish right with my uh, kappa yokai sitting on top right to you know over over there th that place right there and it's a real interesting kind of jelly fish but today I'd like to just shortly talk about uh, a quote by Ward Beecher and I think he was an artist and he says every artist dips his brush into his own soul and paints his own nature into his pictures and his name was Henry Ward Beecher and uh, just want to get into how you know doing just even creative writing if you if it's kind of journal oriented be creative because basically if you go out on the limb and just express yourself not worry about too much form or who you're talking to you can start to get your original expression out your original language right and uh you could get in that kind of you know real emotional state that clears your palate within right and then uh these little gems of uh you know creative expression that you can put out in the world you know uh like to call them nutrition for your mental health right keep you in that vibration you know and there's kind of two treatments you can use you can you know make this art that a lot of times you, you really when it arrives you don't know why you're doing it but you know you're kind of driven through it it happens to me a lot late night happens to me like in the middle of the day I'll just get driven and fascinated my curiosity will kick in and then I'll get more relaxed not as stressed and open myself up and then these intuitive hunches start coming forward and a lot of times you just need to be patient keep doing what you're doing keep moving forward right and dip your brush into your own soul you know your your soul pool that's where your originality and why you came in this world to be as unique as you are and when you tap into that and you get it in some form that you can share even if it's just a uh, original language that you can you know bring into normally where you would have a lot of small talk you know you don't know who you're gonna affect and and that one little gem could save someone's you know mental health or even their life you know they may thinking they're so down they just want to check out out of here and then you bring forth this new idea that came from that space that kind of organic space where you know those natural things arise you know those those hunches and those intuitive leads and uh, you know the two things you can do by dipping your brush in your own soul pool right is the first you know releasing it processing it. and the second is to inspire and empower someone else so thank you for watching the video today. I'll see you folks real soon.